Hey guys, on this video, I thought I would kind of show the day in the life of a YouTuber. What really happens. I'm Bill. I'm Kelly. And this is our and This is our adventures. Oh. Here we go. I just was thinking about today. I was like thinking about what all I have to do. And I thought, you know what? I think I'm gonna make a video and let people know how it really is when it comes to YouTube. I promise you, it's not just all sitting around eating bum bombs and enjoying life. And especially since I'm just a part-time YouTuber, it feels like it makes it twice as hard on me because this is not my full-time job. So I have to work it in to my schedule. Just because I was sitting and looking around at my house thinking, okay, today is Monday. I've got to get a video edited. Christmas has exploded in my house. I need to get all of it up. Laundry is out the door it all needs to be done because we do need clothes to wear to go places the dishes are in the sink and i have real estate a lot of real estate to do and i even have to start thinking about next week's video which is this one that's how i came up with this so like i mean like we're constantly which i do have like a list of videos that I want to do and kind of have an outline and an idea of ones for m several weeks, having time to film them and having time to putting them together. That all takes so much time. And some weeks it just feels like it's going to run out. Now it is so much easier when we're traveling and we film for like a week. I have all the content and it is so much easier for me to edit a video that doesn't have a ton of talking. Like we talk in a travel video, but it's fun to put together all the pretty views to the music and all the fun stuff. And I feel like I edit that so much quicker, but when I'm trying to do how-to videos or tutorials or talking about stuff that I want to tell you about, those videos take longer to put together <laughs> because I have to listen to every word and just make sure I'm not saying anything stupid or it doesn't sound right or wrong or make sure that the the, the words flow and that, that just didn't flow, did it? <laughs> so that's why I thought, you know what? I just want to kind of show you the day in the life of a part-time YouTuber, how hard it is to ju just deal life. Now, I am going to show you pictures of my house, and I promise you it's not like this all the time. It's because it's Christmas, and I'm putting out my Christmas decor and all that, but that just adds another element right now to the videos because I put a video out on Friday. It's Monday. I have already shot the video. I shot it last week. But I worked last week on the video that came out this past Friday. So I have that footage now for this Friday that I have to. But then I got to shoot a video for the next Friday. It sounds confusing because it is. I was just going to kind of take you around with me for the day. I've already went this morning. I woke up at 4 o'clock because I get up early. I woke up at 4 o'clock. I drank my coffee. Just watched some shows that I get caught up on because I don't have time to just sit and watch TV. And even like a lot of times I'll drink my coffee, watch some YouTube or do that other things. Cause typically I don't have a whole lot of time just to sit around and watch YouTube or watch shows during the day. So I get up at four, drink my coffee and do that. Then I go to the gym and work out for an hour and a half. I do about 45 minutes of weight training and about 45 minutes of cardio. Then I come home and then I've either, like today I have appointments this afternoon, so I only have a short period of time this morning to either do the video, put up Christmas, wash clothes, clean the house. And I swear to you, I'm like a squirrel 
squirrel running around here right now because like I'll be in here like doing something Christmas. I'll walk in there, see something, I'll start on something else and then no telling what I've done. But I have like piles of stuff I've taken down that's not Christmas that I need to put up. I just feel overwhelmed and I wanted y'all to see this part of it because a lot of people think being a YouTuber, it's all fun and games because I was one of those people before I started my YouTube channel. Did not realize how hard this is because everything takes twice as long to do if you're filming. And I have a short period of time and I'm gonna film this. I don't know. I'm wasting time. Let's get going. I'm even trying to work in time to do craft projects. I love craft projects. I saw a uh, Christmas tree that was wrapped in yarn, like easily, like what I'm doing here. It was $30. I'm like, I can recreate that a lot cheaper. So I'm making this now. <sighs> just so many things that I wanna do in a daytime and it's just hard to get it all done. And then I stop every five minutes to do my real job, which is real estate, which I have to do. While I've been working on the Christmas stuff, I've been having to encode all my footage. For whatever reason, my computer updated like a month ago and I was having some issues trying to get it, everything to work and I could not premiere. They even at Adobe couldn't tell me why, but I found out that if I used proxies, it didn't lag my footage so I could actually edit my videos. So, and it takes, on a normal video, it takes about two hours to make proxies for all the footage. So that just adds more time. The good thing is, is I don't have to sit there and watch it make proxies, but I do have to wait on it to do it. And when you're editing video, nothing goes as planned. I had done all my proxies, everything, and it has worked fine. Oh, wait, maybe if I turn my proxy on on here. Let's see, I swear, every time you sit down, something new happens to everything. So let's see if this is working. Okay, so I think it is working. <sighs> so now, um, it's not quite lunch. I've got most of my Christmas out of the way and just kind of somewhat cleaned up because it was like everywhere and nightmare. Now I'm going to sit here and work on editing this video until I have to go get in the shower to get ready to go show houses this afternoon. Plus answer phone calls in between. I will not finish this video today. It'll take this, this last video that y'all saw last week. It's probably going to take me probably a couple of hours to edit at least if not more see now I just got an offer on a property and so guess what that's my job that's what pays the bills so now I have to stop editing I'll close this down and now I have to go work an offer 
and call some people, which is not a bad thing. Don't think that I sound like, I know I probably like, oh, I gotta call because I got an offer. But it's just, I'm just showing y'all how things change my day because I'm not full-time YouTuber. And I know even full-time YouTubers, they get distracted and things happen and they have to check on things. So they have a full-time job as well. But when you have a full-time job and YouTube, it just adds a whole nother element. All right, now I am fixing to call and get this offer worked out and then get back to editing when I can. Oh yeah, and it's lunchtime, so I need to figure out a time to eat too. Whew. This is how it is every day. It's just crazy. Okay, finished working that offer. Haven't got it worked out yet, but working on that. And ahead and fix me a little salad for lunch. I have an hour before I can get, an hour before I have to get in the shower to get ready to go show houses this afternoon. So I'm gonna try to see how much of this video I can get done in an hour, which is probably not gonna be as much as I want, but I'm gonna get working on it. A lot of stopping and going. Okay, since the last time I saw you, I did get to go through and do my video and do a rough cut of everything real quick, uh, which means that I just kind of go through and snip all the stuff that I know that I want. It's not clean cuts, but just snipping it, putting it together. So I do have my rough cut done. But see, I have to have that done before Wednesday night because I have to take it to my office and upload on Thursday because we don't have fast enough internet here at our house to upload it. So I have to have that video done by Thursday. But since then, I've rough cut that, I've gotten three houses under contract, and my phone is ringing again, and I still have wet hair, and I have to leave here in 10 minutes. So let me get going. All right, so. We're on day two now, and um, they um, I still haven't worked on the YouTube video today. Have gone worked out and uh, working on some more contracts and some offers, firming up another contract here. <sighs> I pray, pray that I can do my second scan through on my video today. I, um, I do my first like rough cut, which I just take all the footage and roughly cut through it what I want and put it on my timeline. Then I watch the video again and I go in and do more detailed work. Uh, okay, well anyway. So as I was saying before I got interrupted, see I get interrupted like 500 times. But I do my rough cut, then I do my tightening it up, making sure everything is done. And then I go through and do all the audio and any other kind of effects that I want to get done. And then it's finished. But uh, I've got a bunch of stuff to do before I can start on my video today. And uh, so the life of a YouTuber and not being full time I have to do my full-time job first. And sometimes I feel like the YouTube ends up suffering because sometimes on the videos, I end up maybe don't get to do as much as I would love to on a video. I don't know. I'm not saying that I sacrifice the video because I feel like I wouldn't put it out if I didn't think it was good. It's just not those extra little steps and features and little things that I would love to do in them. I just don't have this touch time to do those, the extras. All right, let me get this contract sent over. Seller's waiting to sign it. And then maybe I'll get to work on my video a little bit more today. Because I have to have it finished by tomorrow afternoon. Because it has to be uploaded on Thursday. Because I can't do it from my house. Okay, let me get working. Yay! It's later in the afternoon. And uh, it's like 1.30, so... I probably been working 
maybe two hours on getting this video finished. I just finished it, got it all edited, got it all done. And now I don't have to start worrying about next week's video until Monday, next Monday. Start this whole thing over again, trying to do real estate, trying to do a video because I already recorded the video for next week. Oh, like right now, I'm recording it right now for next week. So I have that footage and it's ready. Well, as soon as I finish up here, it'll be ready. And I'll start be editing it, editing it Monday. I can't speak. I hope y'all kind of like this little insight into the day. It's kind of like two days in the live. <laughs> I'm not a full two, full time YouTuber. God, that was kind of a mouthful. Anyway, I just wanted everybody to know, um, I really respect anybody that does videos on YouTube because like I said, when I first started this, I thought, oh, this is no big deal. Like you just do some videos, edit them and be done. No, there's a lot of thought. There's a lot of process to getting it done. And when it's not your full-time job, it adds a whole new element to it because you got to do your real job first before you do YouTube because YouTube doesn't pay any bills because I don't, don't have a thousand subscribers yet. So what are you waiting on? Hit that subscribe button. I need to make it to a thousand. I mean, that's kind of, that was my goal for 2020 and I have another month and a half to do it. So please subscribe so I can make it to that thousand this year. Thank you for watching our videos. We'll be back doing some traveling soon. I have a few other videos, that ideas and stuff that I uh, am going to make. And until next time, like and subscribe.